In this video lecture, we are going to discuss another problem which is related to the series spiral circuits in which we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B. So here we have a problem in which four resistors are connected and we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and point B. The equivalent resistance between point A and point B. Now before going towards the solution of this problem, let us analyze this network briefly. So if you analyze this network briefly then you will see that these two resistors are in parallel and these two resistors are also in parallel because the one end of these two resistors is connected to this point and the other end of these two resistors is connected to this point. These two resistors are sharing the same two points. And the same is the case for these two resistors. These two resistors are also sharing the same two points. So these two resistors are in parallel. Now the equivalent resistance of these two resistors is let's say 1 divided by R dash is equals to 1 divided by 15 plus 1 divided by 15. Now 1 divided by R dash will be equals to 2 divided by 15. Now after calculating this we get R dash will be equals to 7.5 ohms. Now the equivalent resistance of these two resistors are let's say 1 divided by R double dash is equals to 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 12. So 1 divided by R double dash will be equals to 2 divided by 12. So R double dash from this equation will be equals to 12 divided by 2 which is equals to 6 ohms. So R double dash from this equation will be equals to R double dash is equals to 6 ohms. So the equivalent of these two resistors is 6 ohms and the equivalent of these two resistors is 7.5 ohms. Now let's replace these two resistors and these two resistors by its equivalent resistance which is 7.5 ohms and 6 ohms. Now the equivalent of these two resistors will be equals to our equivalent will be equals to 7.5 plus 6 ohms because these two resistors are connected in series. So the equivalent resistance between these two points will be equals to R equivalent will be equals to 13.5 ohms. Now the equivalent resistance between these two points is equals to 13.5 ohms. So this is a simple series parallel circuit and the solution of this series parallel circuit is 13.5 ohms. Now let move towards a complex problem. in which we have three resistors are connected in this manner and we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B the equivalent resistance between point A and B now before going towards the solution of this network let's analyze this network briefly now if you look into this circuit then you will see that there is a two short circuit or two short path available for the current to flow through these two paths in which the first path is from start is from here towards this point and the second path is starting from this point towards the point B. So let's say this point is point A and this point is point B which we already assigned to this. Now the potential at this point will be the same as the potential at this point because there is a short circuit across this path. There is no resistance connected in the path, so the potential at this point will be the same as the potential at this point. The potential at this point is equal to the potential at this point, so this point will also be an A point. Now for this case, the potential at this point will be equal to as the potential at this point because there is a short circuit across this path. So as we know that there will be no potential difference across a short circuit. So the potential at this point will be the same as the potential at the, this point. So this point is also called the B point because the potential is the same at both the points. So now let, to simplify this network, let's say if we have this point which represents the point A and this point which represents point B. So this 12 ohm resistor is connected between point A and point B. This 12 ohm resistor is connected between point A and point B. Now this 6 ohm resistor is connected between point B and A. This 6 ohm resistor is connected between point B and A. 
this is a 12 ohm resistor and this is a 6 ohm resistor now look into this resistor this 24 ohm resistor is connected between point a and b this 24 ohm resistor is connected between point a and b now this is the simplified version of this problem so now if you analyze this network then you will see that these three resistors are in parallel because these three resistors are sharing the same two points so the equivalent resistance between point a and b is let's say 1 divided by r a b will be equals to 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 24 so 1 divided by r a b so if you use your calculator then you will get 7 divided by 24 per ohms so the equivalent resistance between these two points will be equals to 24 divided by 7 ohms which is equals to 3.43 ohms so the equivalent resistance between point A and B the equivalent resistance between point A and B is equals to 3.43 ohms so it's all for today's presentation if you have any doubt ask in the comment section see you in the next one